Hello, I'm Jessica Boyer with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, August 24th. Three children who were allegedly abducted by their aunt and an ex-con have been found safe in New Mexico. The Watkins sisters, who are all under the age of five, went missing after the body of their mother, Kimberly Harville, was found alongside the road in a remote area of Lebec earlier this month. Detectives say that Harville's sister, Brittany Humphreys, and her boyfriend, Joshua Robertson, are suspected of kidnapping the children that were found in the care of a good Samaritan at a New Mexico hotel. The duo are still wanted for questioning in Harville's death and could be driving a 1999 Ford Expedition with a California license plate number 7BEK024. They are believed to be armed and dangerous, so if you see them, contact local law enforcement by immediately calling 911. A 35-year-old motorcyclist was killed in a crash on the 126 early Wednesday morning after a car struck him from behind. The crash occurred at 5.45 a.m. when the driver of a Dodge Stratus didn't see the motorcycle and rear-ended it, causing the driver to be ejected. The man was pronounced dead at the scene and DUI is not suspected in the crash. A high-speed chase that started on the 14 freeway ended in a crash and an arrest late Tuesday. 21-year-old Miguel Jimenez was traveling at speeds over 100 miles an hour before exiting the freeway in an effort to evade officers. Once officers caught up to him on Sierra Highway, he threw a handgun out the window of the car and began running red lights at speeds up to 90 miles an hour. The pursuit ended in Silmar when Jimenez ran into two parked cars and attempted to get away on foot. He is currently being held at Twin Towers Correctional Facility on felony charges. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, see what is making a local nonprofit cool down for the summer. Plus, heart students are excelling. Find out how they measure up in Los Angeles County. Stay tuned. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. Welcome back. The William S. Hart District is known for its achievements in sports and academics. Recent results from state tests show that they are going to stay at the top. The California Department of Education released student performance results for assessment tests showing Hart students demonstrated significant increases from last year and continue to perform higher than their peers. David LeBaron, the Director of Curriculum and Assessments for the District, says their aim is not to improve test scores, but to make sure students are well-educated to their highest ability. The Boys and Girls Club in Newhall now has proper air conditioning, thanks to C.A. Rasmussen. Last year, we had a situation where both units are the original units from 25 years ago. And one unit, the AC broke, the other unit, the heating broke. So we worked last summer, started the summer last year with barely AC working and we quickly got a swamp cooler and it made life bearable. Two new air conditioning units were donated and installed Wednesday morning, continuing a long relationship between the club and the engineering contractor. The gymnasium here is named for Charlie's dad, Carl A. Rasmussen, and uh, obviously it holds a special place in his heart. And when he heard that the kids here have been playing in the gymnasium without any air conditioning, he, it didn't sit well with them and he had to do something about it. So he uh, rallied the troops and uh, they got new air conditioning units for the kids. Club leaders are excited about the donation and to continue having the building available for the community to use. This is just incredible. The kids will certainly enjoy this. The staff will enjoy it. The gym is used constantly and we're happy about that because, uh, you know, that's what it's for. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Boyer.